heaven and nature sing and heaven and heaven and nature sing Pate! Oh! Ba'y may nakatingin po sa atin? Sino yung ponyo? Kids, nandiyan na pala kayo? Nagpa-practice lang kami ni Ponyo para sa kanyang online presentation sa school nila. Para saan nga ba tong online presentation niyo, Ponyo? Um, para sa... Ano yung Christmas presentation po namin natin? Hmm. Meron ba kami online Christmas presentation? <laughs> Dahil po, December na at Christmas time na naman. Ah, ganun ba, Ponyo? Panahon na naman ng paglalagay ng Christmas decorations. Gusto mo ba, Ponyo, magkaroon ng Christmas decorations dito sa atin? Uh, gusto ko ba? Gusto ko ba? Madali lang yan, Ponyo. Huh? In one, two, three. Wow! Okay. Ang ganda naman dito. Ang daming Christmas lights. At dahil Christmas na naman, Ponyo, panahon na naman ang pagbibigay ng mga regalo. Yay! Ikaw ba, Ponyo, excited ka na ba sa mga matatanggap mong gifts this Christmas? Um, super excited po, ate. Naisip ko nga po, anong matatanggap ko this Christmas? Wow, Ponyo, kayo, kids. Excited na ba kayo? Pero alam nyo ba, kids, Ponyo, na natanggap na natin ang greatest gift of all. Ay, parang alam din na tayo na ito, Faye. I'm sure alam mo na ito, Ponyo. Pero, Ponyo, pag mo munang sasabihin sa mga kids, ha, secret lang natin to Dahil, yan ang story ko for today. Wow! And Hello, kids! kids! And welcome to Vineyard Kids Online! I'm Ate Faye, and with me is... Ponyo! Before we start with our story, let us pray first. Ponyo, can you pray for us? Yes, Ate! Let us bow our heads and close our eyes. Dear Lord, thank you for this wonderful day you have given us. Thank you for this another season and for the gift of life. Lord, thank you for protecting us and our family. We pray that you help us understand our lesson for today. We love you, Jesus. This is our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen! Amen! Ponyo, kanina di ba nasabi mo na alam mo na ang the greatest gift of all? Pwede mo bang sabihin sa amin ang mga kids? Opo, Ate Faith! Um, the greatest gift of all is... Jesus! Ha <laughs> um, He was given to us by God to pay for the sins of this world. Tama, Ponyo. Kids, for the month of December, magkakaroon tayo ng mini-series about the life of Jesus. And we will start on how God spoke to Jesus' parents here on earth, and that is Mary and Joseph. The Story of Christmas Mary and Joseph This is Mary. Hi! You see, Mary was the mother of Jesus. But before that happened, she lived in the town of Nazareth. Mary had no children because she lived according to God's law <laughs> and had never been married. But she was engaged to marry a man named Joseph. One day, an angel came to Mary and said Hi. that God had chosen Mary. The angel said, God is with you. But Mary was afraid and confused. She wondered what the angel was talking about. Then the angel said, Don't be afraid. God loves you and wants to use you in a great way. You will give birth to a son and you will name him Jesus. He will be very great and he will be the king forever. Mary asked, But how can this happen? 
for she was not married yet and knew that she couldn't have a child until she was married. But the angel told Mary that the Holy Spirit would make her pregnant. Wow. So that the baby born will be holy and will be called the Son of God. Wow. The angel reminded her that nothing is impossible with God. So Mary decided to trust God and all that He had planned for her. Before their wedding, Joseph found out that Mary was pregnant. Wait, what? He thought she had done something wrong, but Joseph was a man of God and decided to break off the engagement quietly so no one around town would think badly of Mary. While Joseph was thinking about all this, an angel appeared to him in a dream. Oh. Uh, hi? The angel said, Joseph, don't be afraid to take Mary as your wife. Uh, the angel explained that Mary's baby was from God. Wait, what? The angel told Joseph that the baby's name would be Jesus and he would save his people from their sins. Oh, ah. And when Joseph woke up, he did as the angel told him. Uh, hi. You right? Really? Yeah! And took Mary as his wife while she was still pregnant with the Son of God. And so Joseph and Mary trusted God and the two followed the plan that God had given them to help bring the Savior into the world. Ponyo, may nakuha ka bang lesson sa ating story through the life of Mary and Joseph? Um, opo Ate Faye. Mary and Joseph obeyed and listened to the call of God. And that is to become Jesus' parents here on earth because they know that God will be with them. And also with us. Ate, gusto ko pong malaman yung story ng birth ni Jesus. Na-excite ka na ba, Ponyo? Opo, ate! Super excited po! Kaso, para sa next week pa yun eh. Kaya, kids, don't miss on next week's episode kasi yun na ang story na ipapanganak si Jesus. Kaya, listen what the Bible says in Matthew chapter 1, verse 21. She will give birth to a son. You will call him Jesus. Oh, Ponyo, pwede ka bang sumabay sa akin? Opo, oh, ate! Okay, one, two, three. Matthew chapter 1, verse 21. She will give birth to a son. You will call him Jesus. Oh, kids, pwede na ba kayong sumabay sa amin ni Ponyo? Tara, kids, sabay na kayo sa amin. Okay, one, two, three. Matthew chapter 1, verse 21. She will give birth to a son. You will call him Jesus. Yay! Kids, do you want to learn some new texts? Come on, kids. Get up on your feet. Up, up, up. And we will dance for... Jesus! I feel it in the air right now It's all around, I see it everywhere It's the power Yeah, yeah, God's power It's the power to move And it starts It's the power to heal your broken heart is 
one heart is the power Yeah, God's power So don't hold back, no, don't hold still God is here and He is real Take four steps to the left, to the left One, two, three, four Turn it around and move to the right One, two, three Now take tiny little jumps Forward to the front One, two, three, four Four jumps back but you better look back Let's do it all again right now Take four steps to the left, to the left Hello kids! Ang gagawin natin for today ay ang mga magic box letters. So, ang materials na gagamitin natin ay ball pen at any colored pencils. Tapos, ito namang pattern na gagamitin natin ay makikita natin sa description box below. So, pwede nyo siyang i-download at i-print. Or, pwede rin kayong gumawa ng mga boxes na ganito at mga lines. So, yung pattern na gagamitin natin ay ang memory verse natin for today. So, we will use these boxes to create a letter. So, let's start! So, ang first word sa ating memory verse ay she. So, we will make a letter S. So, ang next letter ay H. Next ay E. So, yan. Meron na tayong S, H, E. So, ang next words ay she will give. Ano kaya sa tingin niyo yung next word? Tama, birth. So, gagawa tayo ng B. So, yung I, ganyan na yan. I na yan. Tapos, R naman. Yung T naman, gagawa tayo ng dalawang um, try rectangle sa gilid. Yan. Yan, meron na tayong T. Ang next naman ay H. So, parang yung ginawa natin kanina. Tapos, she will give birth to a... Sa tingin nyo, ano kaya to? Tama, son. Tapos, ang next words ay You Will Ano sa tingin niyo itong ginagawa ng babae? Tama, call Call So, isulat lang natin siya Him Jesus 
So, gawa tayo ng letter J. So, ang verse natin ay Matthew chapter 1 verse 21. So, isulat lang natin siya dito. M A T T H E W <laughs> Tapos na ang ating magic box letters. O, paano ba yan, kids? Magpapaalam na kami ni Ponyo. Ang bilis naman ko, ate. Um, kids, magkita-kita tayo next episode at sama-sama natin alamin yung story ni Jesus. <laughs> Reminder lang, kids, na wash your hands, eat healthy foods, and stay home, stay safe! Bye! Bye! Everybody clap your hands.